Are you kidding me? Would you look at that thing? <laughs> wow. Stay tuned, guys. We're going to have a little talk about a Strider. Hi, gang. Rob here. It's the evening of 19 January 2014. Got a little knife in today. Actually, not a little knife. A real big knife. In for sharpening. Uh, this is a Strider SMF. The big brother of the Strider folding tactical knife family. I mean, this thing's a freaking beast. Got this in from my sharpening customer and YouTube viewer, Chris. And uh, he, he wrote me, he was really, really struggling to get this thing sharp using a Spyderco Sharp Maker. And I'll tell you what, I'm not surprised. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how you'd ever get this sharp with a Sharp Maker, but I'll talk about why in just a minute here. Let's just give you an idea for those of you who don't know what we're dealing with here uh, this is the strider that has a national stock number not this particular knife but strider does make this with an nsn for military personnel consumption it's just a monster sort of folding field knife this particular one of course in the tanto point sort of saber ground with a tanto point um, the most common one I guess you see is the spear point full flat ground and uh, this one uh, let's go over some dimensions and specs before we get into the character of this particular blade what you've got is a blade of 3 and 7 8 inches 3.875 with a rather puny 3 inches of cutting edge kind of hard to measure it on this tanto but um, Actually, this main run of cutting edge isn't quite two and a half inches. And then, uh, of course, we carry up to the tip. In the spear point, you could measure that a little more accurately, I guess. Uh, handle length, remember, the total blade length is 3.875. The handle length, a whopping 5.65, so like 1.8 inches longer in handle than it is in blade. Just kind of an out of whack blade to handle ratio it's an even more out of whack cutting edge to handle ratio um, <laughs> okay strider guys take it easy take it easy i get it it's not all about cutting edge length i mean how much cutting edge do you really need on a pry bar or a screwdriver i get that overall length then yeah, it takes 9.525 inches to get 3 inches of cutting edge from a Strider. Blade thickness on this Mambo beast of a tool is 0 .190, a little more than 3 sixteenths of an inch. Weight, well, it is not a lightweight, is it? 6.5 ounces. That's a lot of ounces. Construction on this thing is a very aggressively textured G10 show side scale with integral backspacer. That means the backspacer and the show side scale are one piece of machine G10. The frame lock side is 6AL4V titanium. Uh, it is a frame lock, no steel insert, and the clip is tip up right side carry only does have the hinderer lock bar stabilizer slash over travel stop big old beefy strider pivot when i got this knife in from chris i actually wrote him because the pivot action was so horrendous um <clears throat> and the blade grind was so funky looking i actually questioned questioned him a little bit about the knife's origin because I wasn't really sure it was real. Um, after having worked with it for a few days, I've got it.
pretty darn good, I think. Still kind of a hard knife to get open uh, with a flicking motion. It takes a little wrist for me. Uh, of course, if you're doing like a spidey drop, it might be out of frame here. But does that pretty easily. Just a, a kind of unwieldy knife to me. Um, it opens fine just in that sort of full range of motion deployment. Actually, pretty quickly that way. Uh, but man, what a what a chunk! Here, here's a question for you, Strider guys. I'm gonna try to make the camera see in here, but can you see? Uh, I don't know if you can or not. See that screw protruding? There you go, protruding into the cavity that holds the uh, lock stabilizer in. Anybody who's got an SMF, would you look inside yours and see if yours is that long? I mean, it, it almost hits the blade. Kind of interesting. Don't know if that's factory. Any comments that could shed some light on that, please do. This one does have the sort of old Strider lockup, which I guess I don't mind it. Uh, on this particular knife, I've got like no stick and I don't really see any lock slip Let's, look at, yeah. I'm applying some negative pressure I don't see anything happening um, lock ups about oh, what is it guys 40 40 percent with a good firm open maybe 50 no stick, not bad. Kind of maybe a little better than the one I had, the SMG that I had with the new style lockup. <clears throat> Here's something I've never understood about Strider knives. Pay careful attention to the lanyard hole. Watch as I close the blade. Huh. Yeah, I guess I guess Mech doesn't like lanyards. It's like, you know, sort of a... <laughs> sure, you want to put a lanyard on my knife? Go ahead. It's not going to be there long. Because I'm going to cut it off for you. <laughs> I just don't get it. 400 bucks for a knife and... The lanyard hole... <laughs> is defective by design. Cool. <laughs> I know, I don't get it. It's kind of like Jeep Wranglers, isn't it? To most people, they're overpriced, underpowered, noisy, windy, ill-handling golf carts that get bad fuel economy. And to the people who love them, it's a Jeep thing, and we wouldn't understand. Um I think it's kind of the same thing with this knife. It's a Strider SMF thing, and we wouldn't understand. I did make it cut, though, I got to tell you. Um, the reason that Chris was having such a hard time getting an edge on this with his sharp maker is that this main run of cutting edge was sharpened from the factory at about 25 degrees per side. 50 degrees inclusive. Um, <laughs> what you see here, and I didn't really think I could take it any leaner than this and not have it look stupid. Uh, the secondary bevel you're looking at is 20 degrees per side with about a very tiny 22 degree micro bevel. Um, I mean, I, I know, I don't understand, but to me, uh, a cutting edge that is sharpened at 50 degrees inclusive isn't a knife. It's a, either a chisel or a hatchet. Um, I'm sorry, that's just what I think. Uh, then we go to this Tanto edge. Uh, wow. This main, this main Tanto grind, if you can try to get this in frame. This main Tanto grind 
that point, the angle that you can actually see there, is by itself about 42, 43 degrees inclusive. So if it were, let's say, you know, a zero grind tanto point, you'd have 21 degrees per side. Um, I can't really tell you what the cutting edge was sharpened to from the factory. It was something like 75 degrees inclusive, so, you know, 37, 38 degrees per side. I just don't know what you even... And it was sort of, uh, it wasn't very broad, not near as broad as the edge I put on it. Um, uh, wh what do you cut with an edge that is 75 degrees inclusive? I mean, I, what do you cut with that? I don't understand it. Um, so now it's about 50. Um, <clears throat> so this, this edge that you're looking at, the shiny one, is about 25 degrees per side. Um, it can still sort of cut. Uh, there, that's with the that's with the tanto point. Not bad, huh? And here's the that main cutting edge. You know, at it, at a secondary bevel of 20 degrees. There's just not a lot of <laughs> not a lot of slicing ability there. It's so fat once it gets into that cut because uh, it it's, it goes up to three sixteenths of an inch in thickness. It just kind of wedges the paper apart. So the cutting edge is sharp. It's just not much of a slicer. I don't know. Do you guys think that looks cool? Because I kind of hard for me to tell. It's just out of my range of taste, I guess, but I think the edge came out pretty neat. Let me know what you think. I'm sure Chris will, and it, it sure works better than it did when I got it. It's just a lot of, you know, some lubrication, a little experimentation, a little lube cocktail. I'm not even going to tell you what my lube cocktail is on this one, but it's, yeah, I will. Guys, if you've got a strider and you just can't make it smooth and this just gets smoother and smoother the more i use it just the slightest little bit of side to side play pretty normal for an smf i think if you really want to make your smf smooth if it feels tight and gritty and it just won't move try what i did douse it i mean douse it An automatic transmission fluid. Yeah, the red stuff. Let it sit for a day, two days, three days. It might feel worse before it feels better. And then, so that's what I did. I doused it in transmission fluid. Just when I had some spare time, I'd get it out and play with it a little. And then after I sharpened it, um, I left that transmission fluid in there and then went back in with a little bit of my from One All's Pub Daiwa Real Oil. So even lighter than, than the 5W20 ATF. And then played with it some more. And now look at that thing. Whoops, not quite. It's almost a folding knife. So Chris, I hope you're happy with that. I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy with it. it. Doesn't seem like even the same knife as it was when I got here. It cuts and it opens and closes really nicely. Sweet. So it's a Strider thing. I don't understand, but I get it, sorta. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember the word.
is sharp.